Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Lovett again. It's been a while and I'm excited to be back with you. Today we're gonna to do some really fun projects. Um, you are going to either need markers, I just have regular washable markers, or you need craft acrylic paint or any type of paint, even poster paint will work. So get your supplies. You will also need a paintbrush and some sort of pencil, pen, or marker. I'm using a Sharpie. And I have a palette with my paint already on here. I'm also gonna use several sheets of paper. And if you have a pet, great. You can maybe talk your pet into helping you make this project. So the first thing I'm gonna to do today is I'm going to be making little thumbprint men and animals. So I've made a couple already that you can see. And I'm going to do that with using my fingers and my thumb. So the first thing I'm gonna use is a marker. And I'm gonna take my marker and I'm gonna simply rub the marker ink on my thumb. And then I press it down really, really hard. So that I get a nice thumbprint. If you've already gotten your thumbprint and you wanna do another one, just pick a different finger so you don't have to wash quite yet. I'm gonna do a whole bunch of kids. New finger. New color. So now I'm gonna add legs. Some of mine might be running. Some of my guys might be standing. Some might be jumping. I'm gonna add arms. All right, and then you can give them hair if you want to, eyes and a mouth. Um, you can give them, this one's gonna have a ponytail or ponytail, pigtail, excuse me. Um, this one's yelling with a couple of hairs on top of his head. Um, this one's running. I gave him a little nose. And then this one is sad and he doesn't have any hair. So those are just some easy little things you can do. Earlier, I did a caterpillar as well. This one is cheering, singing, I even added a hat to that one. So there's lots of different things you can do with your fingerprints. You can make animals, you can make fruit. I'm gonna make a pineapple right now. There's my pineapple. You wanna make a strawberry? Press. There's my fruit. Boys and girls, this is my dog Bitsy, and I'm going to show you how to make a really cool project with your pet. Bitsy's a little bit nervous about this. paw prints. So I'm just going to dip my paintbrush. You could use a marker for this if you'd rather. And I'm just going to add some stems and a little bit of grass. And then I'm going to add a leaf. Remember to do your leaves like they're two parentheses coming together. I've actually used two different greens. I've added green with the yellow 
And then I'm gonna use the end of my paintbrush and dip it in the yellow and just put a couple of little dots right in the middle. You could use a Q-tip if you would rather, or um, your pinky. Be creative. Now I have a paw print print. Here's one I did earlier. So I hope you had a great day today. Um, I'm just showing you this fingerprint that we did again. These are lots of fun. Did them with paint. This one, I did the grapes with the paint and these are all done with marker. I had done some earlier ones with marker and a Sharpie. And then I've also done my paw prints with my dog's paw print. You could also do your cats, and if you don't have a dog or a cat, just use your fingerprint to make your flowers. This one I did of a flower, and that's my thumbprint I turned into a ladybug. I hope you've had a great day today, and I hope to see some of your fabulous prints that you made. Bye.